Hello. Welcome back. To Caves of Cut. No, um, to <laughs> Terraria. How are you doing? So we're gonna get our rocket boots. I'm pretty sure I can combine these with Hermes boots. Um, I definitely want the Tinker's Workshop. That is like 100% necessary. May be able to combine a, a lot of things already. We're gonna get, I'm gonna move it actually to where the heavy workbench is. Certain things have to be combined in a very specific way. You can't just like combine one thing with another. We could combine our lucky horseshoe with our obsidian skull. That's something we can do. Oh, or, or we could combine it with um, our cobalt shield. But the thing is, is that a cobalt shield, I think combines in another way, which is better. Let's see what the, how the cobalt shield, oh no, that's it. So I think we definitely want to do that. Obsidian shield. This is just a great item and it will combine into other things, but I'm pretty sure not for a while. Let me see what what it combines with. Right, the Ankh shield. That is going to be useful much later. I'm pretty sure the Ankh uh, is one of those items that you can combine it with this or you can combine it with something else. Either way, uh, it's not something we're gonna have to think about for a long time. So I can reforge the obsidian shield. That's kind of the important part. Um, tempt, I guess we can continue wearing the, the horseshoe. Um, let me see what the Hermes boots can combine into. Oh, rocket boots. Okay, so that's a, that's just a straight up upgrade. So we're gonna buy the rocket boots. Shop, rocket boots. Pretty expensive, but I've been hoarding my gold pretty well to, you know, specifically for stuff like this. And it even has a bit of a, a movement benefit there. Um, or fairy boots. Where can run super fast. Flowers grow in the grass you walk on. Pretty sure the lightning boots are what we want. So we're gonna need an aglet, anklet of the wind. Um, and that's gonna, because the thing is, is that the lightning boots are also a material. You want to keep this whole thing going, right? You can make those other two boots and I'm sure they're worthwhile in some regard but um, you, you want to prioritize making something that you can compete, you can continue to combine with other things. The cloud in the bottle is starting to wear out its relevancy a little bit because it actually kind of gets in the way of flight a little bit. There are other things that the cloud in the bottle can combine with like a balloon. Here's a, I was talking, I think maybe in the last episode or a couple episodes ago about how um, playing Terraria in co-op can kind of wear thin the number of certain resources. Here's an example, uh, a really good one actually, is there's three different clouds in the bottle. There's, I believe, a tornado in a bottle, a sandstorm in a bottle, and then the cloud in the bottle, right? So there's three of these, and they all give you a double jump. You can combine each of them with a balloon and that uh, offers you extended like jump distance and your double jump. You can then combine all three of those. You can combine all three of these balloons into uh, three balloons, <laughs> basically. And that gives you quadruple jump and um, as well as like ridiculously high jump. So kind of cool, you know, really quite nice. I have taken a lot of damage and I'm not going to survive this. Damn it. We have another, oh, we got the nature chest here. You're not guaranteed to get like every chest here. Ah, no. Okay, that was kind of dicey. Oh, bond, bone wand. The shadow orb is kind of showing off its limitation as a source of light a little bit. I'm actually kind of shocked when I'm able to fly. Muramasa, please. No Muramasa. This place really is the personification of Bowser's castle. What is that down there? Is that just underground? I could be placing torches. Whoa. Fly, flight really is nice in Terraria. When you get flight, it's kind of, it's kind of game changing. 
All right, my, my commentary is probably not really inspired right now. Some of the uh, some of the extra caverns in the dungeon are, are pretty well hidden. I guess we can use the um, yeah we could actually we can use the grappling hook to get rid of this stuff. We don't need to break it with a pickaxe. I'm learning I'm learning new things. Terraria Terraria teaches me things all the time. You know, not not maybe applicable things to anything useful, but you know things nonetheless. There's definitely more of the dungeon. The, the dungeon is ridiculously extensive, and it can go on for, like, almost right down to hell. Or the underworld. Oh, no! I didn't realize. Ugh. There's definitely more stuff I need from the dungeon. Like, I really do need Muramasa. Uh, Muramasa is a, a really good sword that I'm going to need if I want to combine... Uh, basically make the best sword in the game. And I know I could make my spawn point at the dungeon, it would be probably advisable, but, uh, you know, I've got my pride to consider. <laughs> and I don't mind the run yet. Maybe, maybe I will mind it if I die, like, one or two more times. Let's see if we can't find, uh, there's gotta be more chests down here. I, the, in the grand scheme of things, I have not found that many. I forgot I, I don't have any, I don't have fall damage anymore, so I don't have to worry too much about landing. All right, here we go. This is, this is what we want to see. Ooh, there's tons of little statues in here. Those might be actually statues you can hook up to um, the logic system in Terraria, and then, ooh, is this a bed I could? Blue dungeon bed, all right, we finally got a bed. It only took us 10 episodes. I'm amazed at how few chests I've been seeing. There's usually, they usually litter the place. Oh, there's, there's a couple. I say a couple, there's one. Aqua Scepter, not bad. I, I, I can appreciate the Aqua Scepter. It's a pretty good magic item. Ouch. Stop it. <laughs> Trying to get rid of the stupid pressure plate and instead I'm triggering it. All right, there's still more to explore. I'm looking at the map shows you where I've been. Um, magic missile. That's fine. Oh, we got a demon key. That's good. Yeah, the cloud in the bottle is actually starting to kind of get on my nerves. So I might, I might get rid of that pretty soon. Wait, what is this? Unconscious man. How did I get here? The last thing I remember was a portal opening. This is a, this is the dungeon defenders NPC. Um, there's actually some pretty interesting gear associated with the Dungeon Defenders DLC. Um, which, it, it's just like wild to me that there was a time when Dungeon- First, this is gonna sound really mean. Uh, I don't mean it necessarily, but I think that Dungeon Defenders just isn't relevant anymore. Like, there was a time when it was super relevant. It was like a really popular game. And I feel like um, the company that ran it kind of ran it into the ground. Zealous Blue Moon, that's not bad. What is that potion? Teleportation. <laughs> Teleports you to a random location. Interesting. Um, yeah, I just think that, uh, that Dungeon Defenders kind of ran its course. I know that there's a new version that's like free to play. Oh, do these guys make it so you can't attack? Um, I just, like, I haven't heard any good things about Dungeon Defenders for, like, the last... I want to say 10 years. Which is wild. There was a time when I really liked D Dungeon Defenders. I played a lot of the first one. Um, you know, I'm curious, maybe what, uh, you know... I, I'm trying not to be disparaging of the game. Yeah, in some fear that uh, maybe there's like a, still a very rabid fan base of it, but I'd like to hear maybe, you know, let me know in the comments. What the, how, do, how do you feel about Dungeon Defenders? Is it, is it even a game you still think about? Not really a game I think about anymore with Terraria. One of them, oof. One of them is, uh, I feel, I still haven't found Muramasa. I'm kind of worried that we're not gonna get it, which you need it. <laughs> you need it to make the best like weapon in the game. Hey, what happened to the door there? Our nurse is not living in a home right now. 
I wonder if all of the, all, okay, so all of the rooms are filled up right now. That means if there's any more NPCs, they can't spawn. Um, so I may, uh, I'm going to do a time lapse here and uh, we're going to extend this, uh, this house upward a little bit. Okay, blue moon is rising. Um, I think this is actually a great opportunity to leave, to, to go away. Uh, I'm gonna grab some stone blocks and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go down and start building our building our elevator. Uh, this is probably my least favorite part of Terraria in a way is is preparing for the wall of flesh because you, there's a couple things you got to do first of all you got to mine quite a lot of hellstone what do we got here flame lash obsidian skin potion perfect that's actually amazing that that cuts out a lot of um the the grind um let's go ahead and drink one of those right now what was that sound was a very scary sound but um, I'm gonna be collecting quite a bit of hellstone we do want hellstone gear full gear before um, you know before we fight the wall of flesh before we do a lot of things probably would be make just everything easier it's a shame because you know the thing is is um, full hellstone is really really good uh, like as soon as you get it and then as soon as you defeat the wall of flesh and then set hard mode into motion, it's immediately redundant. <laughs> it's like immediately not worth it anymore because you gotta, gotta go collect all of the new materials like cobalt and uh, palladium and all those stuff. It's, it's a real dang shame because um, Hellf Hellstone is really cool. It's one of the cooler looking sets in the game. Um, and it also gives you one of the nicest, like, mini benefits. So I guess I'll be doing this for a while. I have to do, there's a, you know, we're, we're moving into a couple of grindy parts of, of Terraria. First, collecting of Hellstone, which I am going to do regardless of the fact that its relevancy is, is not very much. And also, I want to build basically a bridge that extends across the underworld. That's a, you know, like, you don't really fully appreciate this about Terraria unless you play it in, like, hard mode, is a lot of, um, defeating the bosses isn't necessarily about your gear so much as it is about creating the perfect environment. Like, you have to kind of create an arena, um, like, the ideal arena to fight them in. Um, give yourself every advantage so that their, you know, their attacks don't hit you, all of your attacks hit them. Maybe even have some traps set up so that they, maybe, maybe you have some traps set up so that they're taking damage while you're dodging them, which is kind of cool. Um, I think the, the best example of, like, a boss you need to, like, really set yourself up for victory for is Plantera. Plantera is one of the nastiest late game bosses. 
And uh, yeah, she's, she's a real pain in the butt. I can't remember how much Hellstone it takes to make a full set of Hellstone, including um, we're gonna need a, a, you know, the pickaxe is necessary, and then probably the first thing we should make. That does actually become relevant for creating the other things. Um, for, for, for mining out the other things necessary. The fact that I found an obsidian potion, or two of them, is ideal. I'm pretty sure I don't need any more of that in order to collect enough hellstone to make full hellstone gear. Don't worry, I see that our potion is about to run out. Don't worry, I, 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 am, I am in control of the situation. Oh, we're also going to need one of those forges, aren't we? You know what's weird is that we don't need to breathe underwater, under lava. Terraria has really transformed over the years. The addition of the wall of flesh in hard mode was like kind of a big deal. So when the game really like transformed in a lot of ways. Um, I still feel like we could keep going, you know, like sure Terraria 2, that'd be nice. Uh, I, I definitely enjoy the format of Terraria enough to do this again. I just don't know what Terraria 2 could offer that would make it more worthwhile than just replaying Terraria 1. I don't know. I'd almost like to see the devs of Terraria make something new, make something completely different. People are obsessed with the idea that if you have exactly the same set of people, that they could recreate the magic uh, of something you enjoyed. They could do a, a proper sequel. What does that mean, a proper sequel? Like, this is, a lot of this talk is kind of grown from, um, you know, what has happened with Disco Elysium recently, which I'm not going to talk too much about this. Basically the idea that, oh, like, well, some people are now no longer part of the company. So we'll never get um, a, a successor to a game or a, a series that we really enjoyed. Uh, that's, that's true. But that was true before this happened. You know, like, just because um, there's only, like, six people instead of eight people, if they, even if they had everyone there, it does, you know, you're not guaranteed to match yourself, to, to create something as, as good as you did. And even if it is, is as good, what does that mean, really? Like, I've, there's lots of things that I enjoy that a lot of people hate. Um... So it could be that they make something really good, but you won't like it. And even if they do make something and you really like it, it won't be the same as the thing that you enjoyed. Like, it won't be the same kind of magic. Like, people change. It's honestly a miracle to me that we, that Terraria has seen so many updates over the years. And somehow they didn't ruin it. That is like magical to me that they updated this game however many times and they somehow can you know every update was consistent ornate shadow key pretty sure oh shadow mimic is that uh yeah okay so we have a we have a mimic now fun terraria 2 if if such a thing is you know a, a possibility you know, I, I would certainly play it. I would not I would not display any cynicism because, you know, like if someone is going to slap a two on something like Terraria, the legacy of Terraria, well then attempting to recapture something which is kind of impossible. It might just be, you know, lightning in a bottle. Could just be that, um, you know, Terraria is just the perfect storm of amazing things and you never have that again. I'm certainly prepared for the possibility that I don't, you know, we never see anything as good as Terraria in terms of the kind of experience that it offers. So, you know, that's, that's a downer, but like, look at that in a form of optimism. As long as we're admitting to ourselves that, you know, this is a really special game and it may, we may not see anything like it, and, you know, we might not see anything as good as this in terms of experience. Um, let's, let's, um, just kind of assume that that's the case and instead hope for something different. I, I want a different kind of experience the next time. 
Because, you know, like, if there's a Terraria, Terraria 2, um, what you're doing is really just trying to recapture the same experience and, and hope that it's as good the second time. Um, but change things up a bit, just enough. What would be the point? You know, unless it did s some different things. So, you, like, you gotta... It's a really a cake and eat it too situation. I want it to be different, but also the same. It better be both. Otherwise, there's no point. I'd rather not look for something the same, but also different. I'd rather have something just different. Because then, at least with different, it sets expectations of like, okay, well, this isn't Terraria. I'm in great danger of uh, spawning wall of flesh um, prematurely. I'm just trying to kill this guy. Uh, there's more stuff. Oh no. Are we gonna die? We died. And our gold is gone. There was some stuff in there. I think it was just a hell bow. Um, I'm gonna make the hell gear. I certainly, I tend to go overboard when it comes to Hellstone because I don't really enjoy collecting it. Okay, so let's see. We've, we've got ourselves a, a, well, it's a slow molten pickaxe. I'll have to reforge that. I'm sorry. I just think that um, the molten gear is so cool. Something about it just looks really cool. I did, there's some end game stuff that like wants you to have a little bit of everything. Yes, this is one of those, but I've already shot past. So unfortunately I don't have it, what it takes. If I wanted to make a Phoenix Blaster, I could. It requires a handgun. I'm pretty sure the arms dealer sells that. If not, they might sell the parts that make it. Flintlock pistol. They don't, um, seems to me. It might be that they only sell it at nighttime. I might start making armor uh, displays. In fact, you know what? That side, I, I usually do this anyway. That side is gonna be statues. And then uh, over here, here, I just wanted to make some mannequins. There it is, mannequin, ma woman -nikin. That's a thing we can make as well. But I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make mannequins. Didn't mean to do that, already misplaced one. Very good. All right, so this is pretty much gonna mark the end of the episode. In the next episode, we are probably going to fight the wall of flesh. So that's basically going to do it. But either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.